Okay, ready? The house I grew up in was built in the 1850s, and apparently the man who built it had a great fear of fire because every room had an outside door, except one which was upstairs. There were 11 outside doors and 26 big, long windows. And this is at a time when the small window panes were in style, but these were close to a yard per pane. And so they all had screens with wooden frames. And our screens had gotten into a really, really bad shape. And since we lived on a farm and we had pigs and we had chickens and we had goats and we had a cow and we had a couple of ponies, there was lots of things to draw flies. So if you did not have screens, you could not leave the windows open. And so we only had about three or four windows that were getting open this spring. And I said, Dad, we need to screen these windows. And he said, I know, honey, and I've got all the stuff, but I just don't have time to do it. So I thought about it for a day or two, and I went and I said, Daddy, I have watched you screen windows. I think I can do it. You do? Well, yeah, I think I can. He said, well, if you want to try, I will help you. I said, what do you mean? Help me. He said, I'll set up the saw horses. I'll carry the screen wire down the steps. I will uh, show you how to cut it. I will get you my wire pliers. And my mother said, well, if you're going to screen windows, you need my tack puller and my tack hammer. And so those were the things I had to work with. The first thing you do when you're screening an old window like that is they had this little, narrow, thin lathing that covered the edge of the screen all the way around. Now, the screen wire Daddy had was the correct width, but you had to cut it for the length. So first, you pried off all of those little lathes, trying very hard not to break them. And then you had to pull out all of those tacks that were holding the old screen in. And you had to wear shoes lest you step on a tack that you'd dropped. And I never liked to wear shoes. And then you had to be very careful to get all of those old tacks out. Then you had to take the screen wire off and be careful because it was very sharp, especially where it was rusted. So Daddy bought me a pair of the smallest men's leather gloves he could find. I couldn't wear them. So we ended up with lots of stuck fingers and lots of scrapes and scratches. But I started out with the windows. And the first thing I managed to do was get the screen on a window. You put it on and you measure the right length and you cut across with the wire pliers until you had it the right way. And then I had seen Daddy and he started out and he put three tacks across the top, one in each corner and one in the middle before he cut. And then you got down to the other end and you cut it off and then you stretched as hard as you could and you put a tack in each corner. And then you went across the first side, tacking about this far apart. And then you went down either side and then you stretched to the end and tacked that all back. But you had to be careful where you put the tacks because these tiny little nails were already in the lathes. And so those had to go back over the screen wire edges. And then you put that back on and then the screen was ready to put back in the window and you could open the windows. So over a period of three plus weeks, I managed to screen 26 windows and 11 outside screen doors. It was years and years before anybody else screened anything for that house because Daddy bought this really good screen and it lasted and lasted and lasted. I suspect that some of the screens that are on that house are remnants still of what I put there all those years ago because nobody's lived in that house since 1978 or 9. 
and it's been left to fall down and go to wreck and ruin, and that kills my soul. But it was a beautiful house when I worked so hard on it.